Asbestos is a very serious public health threat. Uh, there's no safe level of exposure to asbestos. The more you're exposed to asbestos dust, the more it gets into your lungs, the higher your risk of, of getting cancer. But uh, even low exposures can cause cancer. And if a lot of people are exposed to small levels of asbestos, we'll expect at a population level, still significant rates of, of cancer from asbestos. So World Health Organization figures show that, uh, that worldwide asbestos causes more deaths than excessive sun exposure. Many countries now have campaigns where they try to educate parents to not to allow their children to be sunburned. Um, there's been, been a large effect on the, on the public perception of the risk from, uh, from sun exposure. But nothing similar has happened with, uh, with asbestos. Mesothelioma, which is a cancer caused almost wholly by asbestos, is increasingly being seen in people who were never exposed to asbestos at work, so who, whose exposure is probably coming from home renovations or proximity to, to uh, people working on asbestos. And it's now thought that uh, as many as 20%, perhaps even more, uh, asbestos-related cancers are occurring from exposures outside the workplace. Asbestos was used in a huge range of different applications, which many people aren't aware of. It was used in automobile brake pads and mattresses and electric blankets. Uh, it's used in ironing boards and electric heaters, hair dryers, even apparently used in fake snow in Hollywood. The 1939 uh, production of Wizard of Oz where snow falls on Dorothy in a poppy field. That snow was, was white asbestos. People perceive asbestos to be a problem of the past given that there are now strict regulations, but, but as I say, those regulations don't prevent all kinds of exposure. Asbestos-related disease is largely a disease of the, of the working classes because the, the most exposed groups have always been uh, tradespeople. Uh, and that may, for example, explain some of the difference in, in reaction to asbestos-related disease on the one hand and something like uh, skin cancer on the other hand. Melanoma skin cancer is a, predominantly a disease of the middle classes. Rather like in the case of smoking, uh, there are some very powerful industrial interests behind the asbestos industry, mining companies and asbestos producing companies that wanted to keep uh, the, the industry going and they were very successful in casting doubt on the science that was showing that asbestos was dangerous. The first signs that asbestos might be dangerous were already appearing in the 1930s and yet it wasn't really until the 1980s that uh, strict regulations really started to take their hold. Many commentators predict that the asbestos cancer epidemic that's occurring now in much of uh, Europe and Australasia and North America will be replicated on an even greater scale in the developing world in coming decades. Uh, so for example in, in India, Indonesia, Thailand, China, uh, asbestos is still uh, imported, in some cases mined, uh, and still used very heavily in the construction industry. If you go on to Alibaba, the Chinese version of Amazon effectively, you can still buy asbestos insulation materials, for example. But I think that there are three things that need to be done. First of all, there needs to be uh, more progress towards a worldwide ban on asbestos. But of course, even if we stop using uh, asbestos in, in new buildings, for example, uh, there'll be risks from existing buildings. So I think there also needs to be uh, intensive public education campaigns, campaigns of the sort that, uh, that have been used in many countries to raise awareness about uh, smoking, road safety, sexually transmitted infections, uh, sun exposure and so on. Uh, education campaigns have generally been restricted to uh, particular risk groups like plumbers and demolition workers, but in my view they need to be extended to the general public. The third thing that I think needs to be done is uh, steps need to be taken to reduce the costs of controlling asbestos. At the moment, many homeowners, for example, are deterred from having their homes tested for asbestos by the cost of the testing or the fear that it will cost a huge amount of money to have the problem solved if asbestos is found. We, we should really be making uh, testing of asbestos in homes and workplaces uh, free to all uh, owners and occupants of buildings and uh, I think we should be subsidising asbestos removal when that's required.